Alright everybody, welcome back to FTB Academy. So yeah, we now got some decent hand grip on Tinkers, right? We got ourselves a few Tinkers tools and everything. So today I was thinking let's get started in a thermal uh, mods. Most of the stuff will be from, th from thermal expansion. But hey, uh, not everything. So yeah, first of all, we're gonna need a steam dynamo. What is made like this? Silver, redstone, iron, copper gear, uh, copper ingots, more redstone. So yeah, off camera, I've smelted up a little bit. I don't know if I smelted up silver. Did I do silver? No, I didn't do silver. Oi, 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 oi. I, however, ever have silver, so not a big issue. Stuff should melt pretty quickly okay <clears throat> so first of all let's make ourselves the copper gears and stuff that we would require uh, there and let's make another one there 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 okay and it's then the thermal steam dynamo Oh, it's only one gear. Then some iron ingots. We need a redstone. And we need the silver. Let's pour out a block of silver. Should be like uh, six blocks in there in total. Yeah, so there will be five blocks left over in there. Silver cools down pretty quick. So it's not too big of a hassle that I've got. However, this comes then, however, to the point that I want to do with thermal. It's automating the ore processing a bit more. Because, yeah. Uh, look, steam dynamo. Because, yeah, currently we're just doing everything by hand. And although it's fine for quite a time. Let's just clear out a little bit of this vegetation. Fill in this whole uh, blocks I have back here now. Uh, that's the dirt, yes. And I also made another tool, that's the metoc. I will show you what that does if I have dirt. I can dig dirt, I can hoe dirt. And I can chop trees with it. Uh, it's like a um, multiple thing tool, so yeah, that, that totally is a great tool to also make. However, yeah, you've seen how to make tools, so it's not that needed anymore for me to show you. So we want an infant water source close by the steam dynamo. So that's gonna be back here. Uh, that's because a steam dynamo, of course, next to fuel, it requires water. So, if we take some coal, and here's another pro tip. If we take a little bit of coal, we can chop it down to tiny coal, which can't go in there. And it has to be regular coal then. Okay. It's fine. And then we just... Bucket water in the thing. And now we can see it's filling up with uh, power. At a rate of maximum 40 R of a tick. The fuller it gets, the less power it creates. So, yeah. Uh, about the tiny coal. One tiny coal smelts one item. So, yeah. That makes it a little bit better so to say than a uh, regular call for like smaller procedures and i thought that the steam dynamo could run on just tiny coal but sadly it cannot and you see one call goes pretty far gives us 24,000 rf so that that's a decent decent amount all right we have another block of silver here good we also got some lead which then we can use to, in such a fashion, I believe. No. How do we make leadstone? Oops. A thermal flux duct. Leadstone flux duct. 
Oh, that requires glass. We don't have glass, do we? Let's uh, cook some glass. Take out the bread, put that in. Uh, bread can go in here. I've, by the way, made a rice farm. Rice is from actual additions. It is a pretty good source of food. It's over there. Um, yeah. That's just my go-to in such a pack. So, yeah, this goes out. That goes in. And that was not it. It was the other way around with the red. So. Okay, so, as we have seen in the tutorial, we can do this. Layout power. Cool. Uh, now we check the quest book, and this gives us an aqueous accumulator, which is also quite nice, because if we set that up next to it, we can say this side outputs, but maybe that has to be in the water. So at that point, and also that flux duct is connected up wrongly, it's all fine. So yeah, we do this, and we put the aqueous accumulator there, and we put the dynamo there. And this doesn't require power as far as I'm aware. Why? Doesn't it work? Extract water from its surroundings. Why doesn't it start? Okay. But yeah, that's how you could use an aqueous accumulator. If it would work. But for some reason, it doesn't. Doesn't work. Yeah, it's supposed to make, make like a bump. So, oh, now it's working. And it filled up there. Okay, it's fine. So now the only thing we really have to worry about is giving this uh, some coal every now and again. So uh, I don't know what a quest book says, but my next thing would be yes. Pulverizer and the furnace. So we go here and we go pulverizer because then we can like input ores and stuff. Uh, we were cooking up glass. Good. Uh, we need tin. Uh, that's tin. Let's just unblockify that all. And we definitely need two of these at least. And we need some more iron, which we can also do. Okay. We at least are gonna need two of them. Uh, cobble and wood. So cobble and wood. To make the piston. Let's just make one. It also wants us to have flint for this. And we need copper gears. There. And we need this, which requires gold. Which we now have a little bit of. Before I wanted to start, we didn't really have a lot of uh, gold. So, yeah. Also, as a reminder, if you like this series, then please uh, hit subscribe on YouTube. That would help, help me out very much. And it would also make it easier for you guys to find the thing. Why doesn't this transfer power? Okay, now it does. Now I powered it up. Cool, so that goes in here. So if we then take, uh, let's say, the 64 iron that we have, and we put that in there, it will start pulverizing that. And the pulverized stuff we can then cook in a redstone furnace. Furnace. Over here. Which requires bricks. So that's clay um, let's put the clay into here and take out that put some more mini coal into that one there we go 
more silver. And uh, it requires more copper gears. Let's unblockify all the copper that we have in here. Two copper gears. And now the only thing is missing is the bricks. So yeah, that, that takes a moment. So we will wait on that. Okay, and now we got our bricks. So we just craft them together to make these kind of bricks. And then we do this and we get a redstone furnace. But if we place this next to here and we say blue goes into that slot. If we click on, if we shift click on the front of it, it empties it all out. So let's say auto input from the left and then output to the top. So here we're going to say both. We're going to make sure that you have both the same color because next to pulverized iron, it will also put in nickel. So yeah, that is uh, also a very important part. That we then make sure that both end up here. And we want to insert from the top. <coughs> so we're going to break this small crate. And if we put this on top here and put the ores in that we want to have smelted. What does this do if we pulverize it? If we pulverize it, it goes into two black quartz. So we can put it in, but it will clog up the system. So that's maybe not smart to do that right now. Uh, An other small crate would be useful. So let's take out a little bit more wood and three chests and make four chests make some sticks and make some more planks and then it was now I'm gonna gonna guess what it was a log with planks and sticks and that rotated this button rotates it okay this and then it's a little bit more planks chest 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 and another chest uh, then this in the center and planks like so another small storage crate and we can easily place them next to each other and this will start auto outputting from the uh, from the bottom to the top over here and we end up with our iron and we're chewing through the coal at the moment because this machine can take up to 20 hour of a tick this machine can take up to 20 hour of a tick depending on how full the coil is it will go quicker so yeah, currently we're producing more power than this eats, but yeah, it's it will go slow. So that's ore doubling already done with uh, thermal, which is great. So that's these two, iron ore and raw beef. So we put the iron ore in here also. And the raw beef we will put in here. And this will all go in here. Let's clear out the inventory a little bit again. Because we're cluttering up. Which is not good. Okay. There we go. So if we now look at the book. <coughs> uh, plug it in. We haven't collected that one. Um, we can make an energy cell save for a rainy day. And that gives us a conversion kit. In the tutorial, we have seen that we can upgrade the mach these machines to make them go quicker and everything. That we can do with conversion kits. But we can also upgrade these dynamos to so that they generate more power. So, all in all, there's a lot of customization to be had over here. Um, there's like hardened flux ducts. We can make that with three leadstone, three redstone and invar. Invar you make with nickel and iron. I already done that in the smeltery. It's 
quite easy to do. So yeah, why not uh, make the the bigger tier, right? Like so. If we look here, the Let's on Flux Tux has a transfer rate of a thousand RF per tick, and this can transfer four thousand. Okay. So we now can transfer more and more power, but we don't generate enough power for that. And as you can see over here, it has a power usage of 19 RF a tick. It uh, has a maximum power of 20. And over here, same, it now generate uses 20, so this is at maximum power. And it's chewing through coal like there is no tomorrow. So yeah, uh, that, that it's fine. We will survive this. Um, so yeah, magmatic dynamo is also something very important that we need to make. That's not the transmission coil, that's the silver ingot with the redstone, invar gears, uh, invar ingots and iron ingots. So that's also very doable in the early game, as long as you have uh, gotten yourself uh, enough of the resources and block of invar let's unblockify that let's make an invar gear let's also get some iron uh, I have silver I have redstone so this should be no problem and magmatic dynamo what were we looking for Thick dynamo and we craft that. This is another way of generating power in the mod. However, instead of water and coal, this takes lava. Since we don't have a good source of lava at the moment, I will just put it here so I could put lava in uh, to augment it. But we're definitely not focusing on that at the moment. Uh, even in my mine, I have not encountered la a lava pool, so... I have no good way of getting lava. But at least that is quest done. You see now. Oh, we get a reservoir with 10 buckets of lava. Okay, so I can show you it. With the reservoir, we can just right click it and. Wait. Oh, and fills it up in completely in one go. Okay, so the reservoir, 4,000 uh, lava in it. And now we're generating 80 RF a tick. We're only using 40, so yeah, we're charging up the cables. The cables hold power. And yeah, every piece of cable is independent of each other. So yeah, they all hold 20,000 RF a tick. And now we're filling up the dynamo. It's fine. That means we have a lot of power saved. And, um, yeah, you can only, by the way, take power out of the top of the dynamo. So, yeah, that makes it so that I put the dynamos lower than the cable. And I like to hide them a little bit in the ground. So that way you don't have to see them all the time. Uh, but that's totally up to you, of course. So, that's the beginner technology section. The advanced technology section, it is all uh, thermal so far and there is then a draconic evolution but we cannot get there so it wants us to make a hardened upgrade kit which is a bronze gear inver ingots and redstone do we have any bronze no so bronze also from the same mod that is made in the smeltery for instance by alloying copper with tin. Three copper to one tin. Okay, so we have... This is the last of our processed copper. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, three copper to one tin. Uh, let's first get the silver out. I'm not sure if it will react with anything. But yeah, rather not lose everything that I currently have in there. Or get the weird materials that I'm not using. Okay, so we have now gotten bronze in here, four ingots worth. 
So that's enough to satisfy the quest. And bronze cools really quickly. So yeah, we go this, 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 this. And there we go. Why is the gold in there? I didn't put the gold in there. Okay. Um, upgrade. We were making this. So that's Envar and Redstone. Redstone, Envar. And we auto-complete this. We make that. And we get this. Quest completed. Then it wants us to make the reinforced. Which is Electrum. Which is gold and silver uh, smelted in the induction smelter. So yeah, we cannot do that until we make this. No, that's Magma Crucible. It doesn't yet have a quest for that. But we could make it just by stopping the pulverizer from handing over the items. We could totally do that, but yeah, I'm not about to do that. Um, so what we can do at least is we can do that. Now it can go up to 30 or a tick. And by using more power, it will... Uh, use more uh it will go quicker so it's in our benefit to upgrade machines okay so i decided to stop thermal here um yeah we can make a little bit more from thermal but we don't have the resource to actually do it uh we have a little bit of gold we have a little bit of silver we have a little bit of everything but i would need to go down in the mine again to get a lot more stuff so yeah basically what we have learned so far is the thermal stuff can connect to each other like this it can also use other mods their storage solutions and yeah <coughs> that is roughly about it um oops also what i forgot to tell you in a pack that it's from F uh, F the ftb team and has this on top you can often do slash set home and then home for instance <clears throat> so what i've done is i've done a home mine which brings me down to the bottom of that staircase it's nothing special slash home home just brings me back up on top here <clears throat> so it's nothing really special but it makes like life a lot easier. So yeah, I will off camera have to go mining a lot more than, than what I've already done. Like we we all can agree on that. And this one still has some power in it. But it's draining rapidly. We're not keeping up with power production at the moment. And that's because not everything is work working on full power. So we can hold ADRF per tick. We're only as, as, as a maximum having 60. So that is totally fine. And yeah. So the beginning of thermal makes this almost, I would say almost uh, unneeded. But we still need it if we want to upgrade our tools and everything. Um, it is sometimes a very useful tool for that. But for the rest, we don't really use the smelter anymore. Unless we run out of power and we desperately need to do something. But that's also a reason to use smelter. So yeah. Um, I will cut it off here for today. So thank you so very much for watching. And leave a like if you like to leave a dislike if you disliked it. Subscribing, I already asked, but still, if you are made it this far, chances are that you would enjoy the rest of the content also. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye!